Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT, D-I-N-O, N-I-D-A-C. I'm sad, Jonas. Why are you sad, homie? Because we don't get the pod every day. Ha 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 ha, twice a week. <laughs> We want to thank you so much for joining us on the Crazy Down Podcast today, Uh, wherever you're joining us at. If you uh, want to follow us on our, subscribe on our YouTube channel, it's under Crazy Down Media. We got the podcast and uh, our video game videos. Uh, If you just want to follow us on the audio only version, Spotify, iTunes, just search Crazy Town Podcast. You can't miss it. It is the one that everyone listens to. And I'm running for president. Are you? Yes. Yeah. You know what I saw? I saw that Mark Cuban said, it's not the question I'm going to run for president as an independent. I'm like, dude, the primary's already happening. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, you could do it. I'd probably, never mind. I don't know if I'd vote for Mark Cuban. I don't know, man. Yeah, he's, I don't know. Jonas, man, we, we I don't know. When is this episode coming out? Uh, I don't know. We're a little bit ahead, I think. A little ahead? Yeah, don't talk about current events, man. Well, it's hard not to because I like current events. You need to watch Tiger King. All I right? did. I watched the whole thing. You watched the whole thing? Yeah, I watched That's... and even the one they just put out the other day with like the interviews. Don't talk about that one. Yeah, dude, I watched it all. I thought you said you watched like five minutes of it. I you did. Were like, and, no, I watched the first episode, but I was doing something else. I went back. I watched all of it. Are you serious? Yeah, I watched the whole thing. Jonas, I got a hat that says fuck Carol Baskins. Do you? I fucking ordered that shit. Wow. <laughs> I needed it in my life. Yeah. You, I mean, do, do you think she did it? Uh, yeah, probably, dude. Yeah, probably. Uh, I will say that interview episode is pretty cool. Mm. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. I'm just All saying, right. like, they talk to some of the people and they talk about some stuff that wasn't in the documentary. Mm-hmm. That like, and you know, things like that. Like, it's it's interesting. I mean, it's Joe McHale. He's being an right. asshole. So right. cool. <laughs> yeah, cool. it's worth it's worth watching. I mean, it's like 40 minutes. Is there anything else you've been watching? Uh, I started watching season four of uh, Better Call Saul because that came out on Netflix. Ooh, um, I hear that's and a good show. Season three of Ozark came out a couple weeks ago. Ooh, bomb! If you have not, if people if you've not watched that show, that show is fucking so good. I've heard that Ozark is, is really good. So good! Man. Wow, that good, it's, dude! I don't watch new shows. Like that's wow. how like I like I've started watching it on a whim and I watch I just I binged two seasons of it. Like really? Oh yeah, it was that good. The, the second season, the first, like, four-ish episodes are kind of slow, but if you push through them, dude, the rest... Oh, dude, it's, like, it's dark. Huh. It's okay. really dark. Okay. It's twisted, yeah. Well, Do you know the premise of the show? Uh, no, don't tell me either, okay. dude. I'll, I'll just give you a quick, a quick premise. Okay. You, you weren't... Well, just so people understand if they were... <laughs> oh, okay, listening. yeah, tell them. It's a quick premise. Uh, Basically, like, in the first episode, you find out that, like, Jason Bateman and his partner are, like, working for a drug cartel, lo- uh, embezzling money. And, uh, or no, laundering money for them. And, uh, they find out that somebody's doing something shady and they basically tell him that he has to go, he has to leave, leave Chicago and go somewhere else. And he goes to the Ozarks Uh. and then he, then, but he's like, Hey, let me go there and still launder money for you. And if I do it, don't kill my family. And that's basically where it starts. And he goes to the Ozarks and he tries to get in with people there to like launder money for the cartel. All right. And sure. it's twisted, dude, for sure. All right. Yeah, it's worth watching. It's another show that I've started watching on uh, the History Channel. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You know, we never it's... talk about this kind of stuff on the podcast. I know. Anyway, so f- go ahead. F- fuck it. We're going to talk about it now. I started watching uh, the Skinwalker Ranch series. Okay. I have no idea what that is. Okay. So Skinwalker Ranch is this, uh, it's kind of like uh, like the Bermuda Triangle almost. Where it's just like an area of land. I believe it's in Nevada. I'm well, not 100%. The Bermuda Triangle's in the water, though. Yeah, I, I know that, Jonas. Oh, okay. But it's just like gotcha. where weird stuff happens. Oh, in this area. Yes. Like weird supernatural stuff. stuff or? Almost to a point. So now the land used to be owned by Native Americans. Okay. Indigenous peoples. And then it was taken by force. Where is this land, by the way? It's in Nevada, I believe. In Nevada. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um... And apparently there's a lore that says that the indigenous peoples cursed the land okay. after leaving. Um, it came into ownership of a family who had many, many, many weird things happen to them. There are accounts of uh, cow mutilations that have been happening over 
over the years, cow oh, mutilations. Like they'll just find cows that are mutilated and stuff. There's been UFO sightings or just like flashing lights. Right. Sometimes it's like a giant like mound, almost like not a mountain, but a giant mound of like mesa, whatever. And sometimes it can be seen glowing at night. Um, the series on on a what do you call that on the History Channel? It's a little bit kind of like it's not like aliens because there's that one show they do with oh the that alien. guy's like aliens yeah aliens alien. yeah, yeah that and they show it. like there's a lot of CG in this one. This one is more just kind of like following the guys as they do stuff, but it looks like. I don't know. Last episode, they just kind of looked at a hole for a while, and then they're like, hey, we're going to dig, and they're like, no, we can't dig, and then they're like, why can't we dig, and it's like, bad things happen when people dig. Apparently, there's a story about a guy who was digging, and he turns around, and his post fence, post stump thingy, what do you call those? You know, post hole digger? Boom, Joe. Wow, look at this guy. <laughs> his post hole digger disappeared. He finds it three weeks later in a fucking tree. Oh, wow. Scary story. There was a guy who was tending to his cattle and then a wolf that was like six, seven feet tall. Huge wolf, like a dire wolf almost, but those are extinct. Fucking huge wolf comes up, attacks one of his cattle. He pulls out a fucking 45 caliber, starts shooting this thing. It feels no pain. You can see like he says he sees meat flying off of it. It's like a werewolf. Dude, there's it's, he didn't have a silver bullet. Apparently, there's <laughs> there's a story about a guy who came onto the land. And he was like, "I'm getting some weird." He's a hippie. He was like, "I'm feeling some vibes. Can I just meditate on your land, bro?" He meditates on the land, and like one of these creatures just like comes out of the woods and starts attacking him. And the family had to pull him off of him. All of these accounts are just like kind of kind of hearsay though right right right. like there's obviously no like so it's kind of like a haunted house but it's land a lot like that uh one of the guys on the show says that he was doing some digging because he just like with a shovel and he ended up getting like almost like a hydra seal what's that it's like a trap fluid underneath the skin it was like in his head and it ended up causing him it didn't cause him brain damage but it caused him a lot of pain like is it like a blister it's in the skull it, it, with him it was like i don't know if it was like in in the meninges or anything i'm not sure like where it was but he ended up getting this pocket of fluid either underneath his skin or underneath his skull and he ended up having to have surgery oh, to relieve the pressure that's crazy man. um on the episode that i actually watched the other week he actually uh they were they were just like messing around doing a little bit more digging and he felt his head and he ended up with like he was like oh man this is how it started before and it's just like is this area haunted? So the show is essentially is there's a guy, millionaire, venture capitalist. He ends up buying the land and obviously he wants to do a show on it. So he, right, hire, right, yeah. he hires like this uh, a scientist guy and they come and they look at it and they're doing episodic uh, kind of list like accounts of it. Gotcha. Dude, that would be great. I wish I had enough money that I could buy like haunted places and then just bring in crews to do shows about it. I, I would, would like awesome. to. I would like to visit. I would, I'm such a skeptic. I don't know how you feel about I'm the supernatural. I'm, I'm agnostic uh, about all that ish, dude. All right. About like well, any religion, ghost, aliens, like agnostic is like I believe there is something. I don't know what it is. Well, agnostic is like show me proof. Like I don't not believe, but I don't believe. But like if somebody showed me proof, I'd be like, oh, there it is. Oh well, see, I'm a hundred percent atheist. <laughs> you just believe it doesn't exist. Period. I'm like, come on. There's a scientific reasoning for anything even like watching the show i'm sitting there you just like you would with any show and i'm like oh there's magnets under the ground yeah, you're like the guy who goes to the magician show like he goes to up his fucking sleep <laughs> there's obviously an electromagnet on the floor it's it's affecting you guys and they're kind of coming to like the same idea of like there's some sort of like magnetic right, energy there might be something under the, like in the earth that yeah. like yeah there's areas that have those sort of things yeah so they encounter like some weird stuff on a daily basis uh apparently UFOs can still be seen. I've listened to a podcast and watched a couple of these shows about it. Very interesting, though, to say the least. And I don't really get interested in the supernatural too much. I do believe in aliens, of course, but scientifically, they have to exist. Yeah. Yeah, man. Like, we did a whole show about that. Fermi Paradox about aliens. Yeah. Like, all the different possible possibilities about aliens. And, and I was uh, I was having a conversation with one of the guys who was also watching the show. And I was he doesn't believe in aliens, necessarily. And I was like, well, he believed that there's bacteria 
on another planet. I'm like, we're looking at going to Mars. There's got to be bacteria on Mars. Because Somewhere. if there's a rock, the rock is made of something. Right. But it doesn't mean it's living. L- living bacteria? It isn't... Yeah, but like the the atmosphere could be devoid of the ability to host things that live. See, and I was under the. I mean, there could be a virus there because a virus is technically not alive. Is a virus not alive? It, and that's the that, there's like that's the debate about viruses is like they technically are not living, but they're not not living. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> not, because not because living. because they they are able to replicate and multiply, but they don't have like a they aren't like a living thing. You they're not like a they they don't have a cell. Right. It's not they don't like yeah, you okay. can't just like Whereas in bacteria, it has like some sort of cellular built makeup, you know. Okay. And I I guess I never really looked at that idea, but I still kind of feel like there's got to be oh, something. Yeah, dude. It well, may like, not be a bipedal, quadrupedal, but oh, it's yeah, something. Well, an yeah, amoeba like, of it would some be sort. Ignorant. It would, like, and that was the whole basis of like that whole Fermi stuff. Is like yeah. It would be ignorant to believe that as big as the universe is, as many planets that are out there in different galaxies and blah, 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 and solar systems, that we are the only thing alive on any of these planets. Like yeah. the, the chances of that are so small. Because if we're alive, why isn't something else alive somewhere? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but we've never we haven't found it. And that and that's the whole Fermi paradox is why haven't we found it? All right. But you don't believe in uh Native American curses on the uh, land. I mean, like, I believe that they believe they're real and sometimes it, sometimes that <laughs> they sh- believe dude, No, that listen, they it, believe. It's, it's some of that have you ever seen that movie? It's like sometimes it's like the belief sometimes like the belief is what it's is what it takes to make it real you know what i mean like it's like one of those things like no i don't know it's like if uh if you it's like if you don't believe in voodoo you can't be cursed by voodoo but if you believe in voodoo voodoo people can curse you Uh, yeah dude i mean that's pretty much my whole idea for the basis of all supernatural it's like people who believe in that shit are like oh i swear to god i live in a haunted house motherfucker you ain't living in a haunted house you did not. You believed it, so yeah, you right. justified exactly. everything but, that but you saw. But perception is reality, right? No, it is not. <laughs> it is not. Okay. That is the exact opposite of what reality is. Well, the way people perceive you is reality to them. Yeah, Like, but if people think you were, like, the most downhearted, wholesome man ever, that's what they think you are. If they think you're a jerk face. So it's like when I look at the way our country is, and I'm like, oh, we live in the greatest country in the world perception versus reality yeah dude what's the reality exactly we it's li- everybody else's reality is a reality we live in a you know jonas we were discussing this the other day but to tell you when you're when you're broke jonas they say you should hold on to you know two three six months of your paycheck so that in case something happens yeah, that's easy to do you don't just go, spend half your money for the year i mean but that's what you're supposed to do so then just in case something happens but yet the damn country can't take a month off without everything <laughs> shot in yeah, the freaking Yeah, all terrible. the businesses don't have an emergency fund. They just, like, no. use all their profits to pay their executives and buy stock. Either way, I digress, Jonas. Yeah, for, for real. You don't believe in, in Native American curses. You don't believe in portals to another dimension that lead to skinwalker I would have to say wolves. some of those things I'm way more skeptic of than others. Like, uh, yeah. aliens, ghosts, maybe. Yeah. Like... Voodoo curses, eh, that's, you know, I'm, eh, I'm probably less likely to believe in those. Yeah. But, dude, if someone came to me and said, like, I did this curse, look, watch, and look what happens, I'd be like, well, oh, shit. <laughs> so All right. That's the goddamn devil. S- sign me up. I believe now. You know, you it's like. just conjured Satan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All of a sudden, they bring Nosferatu up from the grave. But that Skinwalker Ranch, Jonas, it's a pretty good show. I am highly skeptical that they were skepti- skeptical, skeptical, I'm, I do not believe they're going to show us anything that we haven't already seen because it's on freaking History Channel. Yeah, dude, it's like when they do that Finding Sasquatch show. If that motherfucker's yeah. found Sasquatch, that would be in the news way before exactly. that show hit the goddamn. That's what I was thinking too, man. But it is still a very interesting yeah, topic. Yeah, entertaining to watch. I highly suggest that you look into the history of Skinwalker Ranch oh. at home. It is entertaining. All right, awesome. So they recently, online dismantled a neo-Nazi group based in Estonia. They found a... It it covered 11 countries. 
at least 11 countries. Some of the countries mentioned were like US, UK, Canada, Germany, and a bunch of like smaller Lithuania, like all these other little countries. And they said that um, it was like an online community. The leader of the group went by the name Commander. And they had uh, they hadn't really gotten to doing anything crazy. They weren't like doing attacks or anything, but they had I guess arrested some of the people, the, the members of this group. Um, and you know they found in their forums and things like that they were they were sharing guides for making explosives, how to p- procure weapons, things like that. Pepe hands. Pep. What the hell is a Pepe hand? Did they use Pepe? What's that? I don't. Oh, is that like a racist thing on the internet? Oh, no, it was just adopted by them, Joe. That's a whole nother story, man. You know, I had somebody tell me that, like, okay, this is a little off topic, but relevant. Pepe that, like, frog. ever since I was a little kid, it's hard for me to put up the number three like most people do it. Like, with, like, the index middle <laughs> ring finger. I normally do, I normally do middle ring pinky. Okay. And I have, it's almost like that, that sign that you hold up that people punch you when you do it. What's that called? Okay. Well, it's like the okay symbol or like, uh, you know, that symbol that people would hold it. That yeah, when you yeah. see it, they get to punch you in the arm. What yeah, the hell? I get you. I get you. Um, I did that one day at improv class and our former teacher, like she, she said something. I said the number three and I held up three and she like looked at me funny. And I was like, what the fuck? And she was like, she's like, you shouldn't hold up the number three like that. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? She goes race white power people have adopted that it's like a symbol of like i guess it's like a w like if you look i'm like i was like she goes she's like i didn't think that you were i was like i'm glad that you don't think i'm a white supremacist <laughs> um so but anyways i didn't realize that was a thing it, like they adopt shit dude and then it's dude. like <laughs> This is so funny to me because I've literally gotten into arguments with people about the fact that like that neo-Nazi movement is so strong and they'll be like, well, you know, there's there a black one too. What about the Black Panthers? I'm like, get to shut the fuck up. The Black Panthers ain't doing shit. You ain't <laughs> yeah, heard nothing about the black. setting shit on fire. Exactly. We don't have 13 <laughs> words. We don't have a special <laughs> handshake. They don't have anything. All right. right. Yeah, yeah. They got a cool looking mascot. That's it. That's all they got. <laughs> That's all they got. So yeah, so I was just like, oh shit. But anyways, so this they found this. They I don't know how long of an investigation this was or whatever, but they did not arrest the leader because he didn't do anything illegal. That was not why they didn't arrest him. They did not arrest him because he was a thirteen year old boy, and in <laughs> Estonia. Figures. In Estonia, they can't arrest minors for crimes. Well, th- th- you can't do it here either. Well, I mean, you can No, they they can't even take him to like juvie. He's not uh, legally liable for anything. I mean, so you get honestly. this crazy motherfucker on the internet has convinced grown ass men that he is a leader of a white power movement. He's a thirteen year old boy sitting in his mom's fucking basement, conjuring up fucking ways to do explosives and shit. So, like, what do they do with this fucking kid? He's obviously fucked up, right? Like, he's 13. Like, what do you do with that kid, man? Take away his 4chan account. Because <laughs> you know that's where they were. Exactly. You know they were on that's where fucking like, Pepe Keck W, dude. dude. But, like, if you're... Okay, and, like, and I get, like, sometimes 13-year-old kids are misguided and they don't, don't understand what they're really doing. But, like, if you have the ability to lead a online white power cult... At 13, what are you going to do when you're 18 years old? You're a <laughs> fucked up person, man. Like, what the fuck? Like, That's the kind of kid that ends up with a black girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right? He's like, he's a white power kid when he's 13, and then he brings home his first kid. prom dates like a black girl from school. <laughs> he's a white power kid. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> like a Nintendo power kid. But, like, I was just like, how fucked up? Like... Like, Dude, it, it, fuck, fucking Darnell took his lunch money, so now he hates anybody who looks like Darnell. Yeah, and I, you know, it's fine, dude. It's cool. It's like a like he's probably the kid who gets picked on, so now he hates anybody who ain't a white kid or whatever. Yeah, that's, like. that's, that's what I said. Yeah, so exactly. yeah, so but I, but I guess he like they hate not just like black guys. I mean, they probably hate everybody. Yeah, I don't know where he's that in comes Estonia. From. What kind of like, where the fuck is Estonia? Dude, they don't like black people anywhere. Aww. They don't. Aww. <laughs> Jesus. They don't. Think of, a, think of a country, and then you tell me they just love black people there, <laughs> Jonas. I Pick one. I never thought about that. Pick one. <laughs> I, I don't know. If I say one, it might be racist. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't want to go down there. I was thinking about that the other day when you were when you went to uh when you went to England. I was like, man, I don't want to go to England. All I know is that they don't like black people there. And I was like, <laughs> but I would like to go to Japan. And I was like, oh wait, I don't like black people there. I was like, wait a minute. I think the women probably do. I was like, what about China? I mean, you're gonna find that anywhere. But then that's this fetish side, which is even like more racist, honestly. <laughs> Dude, if I went to another country and I was fetishized, I'd be all right with that. I mean, me, myself, I would be all right with the <laughs> amount of vagina that it brought into my life. Oh, but yeah. on the same note, you're basically just like, ooh, he's black. Uh, I got you. <laughs> or, ooh, he's American. I, I don't right. want to be fetishized for my nationality or the color of my skin. Yeah. Though, I have definitely dated girls who have fetishized me <laughs> 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 I don't want to do it, but I sure the fuck have. Wow, do I fetishize, Jonas? I don't know. Is that a bad thing? I, do, you, do you? I don't know, because I do like a certain certain types of girls. Oh, yeah? What kind? All kinds. <laughs> the ones with vaginas that yeah, weren't growing in a lab. Are my fetishizing vaginas? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Call me a fetishizer. Oh, my God, Jonas. 13-year-old fucking white power kids. Yeah, dude. What the f I was like... I was like, but I, it was like the most ironic, and like I, I found that story on Reddit, and all the comments were like, it figures a bunch of dumbass neo-Nazis would be led by a 13-year-old boy on the internet and not know yeah. any better. <laughs> like, yeah. Because they're just so like willing to like be sheep and f just fucking follow somebody. <laughs> just so ignorant, dude. A so. little bit, a little bit. It kind of reminds me of like when we used to play Halo and, you know, when we were 13. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the things that would be said over Xbox Live in those days. It was such a vulgar ass racist place. I mean, it's still that. It's just that it's a little less uh, perception versus reality. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's true, I guess. But like, I mean, it used to be like anything More you got that. into, it would just people would just be an ignorant as fuck. Oh yeah. At man. least now they like have regulations and ways to report people and stuff like that. Where back then it was like the wild fucking west. It's it's slowed down, but perception reality is still there. It's very true. It ain't went anywhere. Man. I'm tired out here for a pimp. What was Jonas. that ranch called again? Skinwalker Ranch. Skinwalker Ranch. Yep, skin flute ranch. Skin <laughs> <laughs> That's your, your favorite your, place to your, go. No, the greatest place on earth. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's interesting. It's like portals to other dimensions and shit. You know, interesting. No racist though. No, dude. I'm glad. No, dude. it's in Nevada. There's definitely racist there. Yeah, probably. That's unfortunate. <laughs> but uh, but you know what? That is that is all time we have for today's episode. All right, cool. Yeah, please make sure to on uh, your YouTube channel, Crazy Town Media. Uh, or if you're gonna don't want to watch videos, you can listen to us. We are at sultry tones of our voices. Says penetrating real drum eardrums. Oh, Jonas, can I tell people that I stream on a daily basis yeah, now? Yeah, do it. All right. Yeah, I stream on What's a daily basis. What am I under? Oh, great. Good thing you know. It's TNT Dynamite underscore Crazy Town. Okay, cool. All one word TNT D I N O M I G H T yeah. underscore Crazy Town to stream every day. Come join me, hang out. I'll talk to you probably. Um, Maybe. Yep. All right, cool. Well, uh, we'll catch you on the next one. For oh, Jonas. wait. Wait, I should tell them the time. time. <laughs> Eight o'clock in the morning. Oh, no. Wait, Eight no. a.m. No, nine a.m. Nine, nine a.m. What time zone are we in? Central. It's nine a.m. Central, usually for a couple hours every morning. Oh, Boom. boy. That's a prime, <laughs> the prime, prime uh, time. Man, they, they're home. Yeah, no shit, right? <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, for Jonas. TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. We are... Uh, Oh,